welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the independence card over here. So uh, it looks like, you know, you've let go of uh, your attachment to anybody. Uh, and you are moving on uh, on a very, very independent route. It seems like, you know, you're following your own pathway and you are doing things for yourself over here, standing alone and, uh, you know, being very successful at it. You're getting your independence back again. It looks like you've been in, uh, you know, involved in arguments or quarrels with people and maybe that is still ongoing as well around you. So a lot of negative energy going on around you and maybe you're, you're clashing uh, with somebody. There might be a, a struggle of a power struggle between you and somebody there. You can see them pulling at that ring. This could well have been in a marriage or in, in some kind of a close relationship where there's been a, a bit of a fight or power struggle going on over there. So you are being, fo you are trying to focus, uh, you know, on your work or you're focusing on something very important. Uh, because you've got Saturn over there, it seems like, you know, you are being, uh, you've got your mindset, you're single-minded about something, maybe about your career. You're trying to get your message across. Maybe a lot of people, you can see a lot of swords around this, these lips. So maybe a lot of conflict uh, around you. Maybe you're trying to, you know, uh, not say things to stir up conflict, but there seems to be a lot of issues going on around you, a lot of fighting going on around you, uh, you know, a, a lot of discontent. So uh, that's what you're trying. And, and maybe it's because you want to be independent that people are against it and, and causing a lot of problems for you. So in the past, you've got the appreciation card. So things have been happening. Uh, you know, you have been focusing on whatever you want. Uh, and, you know, this has been producing, bringing, uh, abundance so maybe focusing on your career maybe you know communicating what you want as well there's a lot of messages going out over there uh, and it seems like people have been quite uh, generous with you there's charity over there so maybe you've needed help and assistance uh, in, during a difficult period maybe you've ha had a difficult period within your home life you've got Saturn there and cancer so some difficulties happening in the home life maybe a lot of restriction and people have been giving you some kind of help maybe on the financial front as well or just generally helping you out so going to the future you got vers versatility cards so and the discovery card so both these cards are talking about thinking outside the box being very flexible adaptable uh you know using whatever brand new ideas you have putting out your ideas in order for you to achieve success the discovery card over here you might be doing some travel or even some further learning because you've got mercury sitting there in sagittarius this is about further study specializing but you've also got the world over there so you could be traveling and learning as well as you travel so this could well be the case that your work now starts taking you out of the situation and moves you into something on the international front as well it gives you more of that independence you are seeking so I'm going to just draw some cards from the Racking Tarot, and this is the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Oh, it was on the right side, okay. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you have got the Knight of Swords over here. So there is some kind of decision uh, that you're waiting for, some kind of legal decision. You could be dealing with an air sign person that causes a, uh, a lot of problems for you as well. You know, maybe there's that energy still coming in, a very negative energy, a very critical energy, and uh, somebody that is, you know, says things stirs up a whole lot of issues and leaves very suddenly so somebody bringing some kind of nasty message or somebody who's very nasty that you're dealing with comes in and causes a lot of problems if you're waiting for a legal decision that decision is coming in for you pretty quickly as well so there is something that is going to be coming in on the legal front or you could be dealing with an air sign person there um so What's going on for you? You've got the Hermit card over here and the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something brand new coming in. Now, this could be, if it's legal, it could also be an official thing. So it could be official news. Um, it could be even a new job contract coming in for you as well with that Knight of 
um, swords. And I say that because you got the hermit card over here, so branching off on your by yourself, working very independently. This is a card ruled by Virgo, and this is all about work and focus on work. And then you've got the Ace of Pentacles over there, which speaks about brand new money coming in over here. So this is a brand new job coming in that allows you to work independently, and you're going to leave the old and move forward. So this is new money and a new job coming in, and a lot of focus on career. So you might be signing some new contracts there. So in the past... Uh, you so you may have made a, a whole move. So you have, uh, you know, severed tied with severed ties with the old home that you used to live in, and it looks like you've made a big move. This is the chariot card ruled by Cancer, so it looks like you've moved home as well. Maybe you've bought yourself a new property or a new home, and you have moved on. Now you've got the five of cups over here. You're still a bit upset, still looking to the past a lot about the things that you've lost, and you need to get out of that energy because. It, it's, it's bringing you down. You need to focus on something positive. So stop looking at the things that were lost uh, that you can't regain uh, and start focusing on the things that you can work on. So this has been going on in the last few months. Now on your mind, you've got the Eight of Cups. You are trying to walk away from things, but maybe that depression, you can see this, this person, is she's drowning and she's being pulled down. So the whole thing is that whatever that depression is that you're going through, through is pulling you down. It's not allowing you to rise above the situation. And you keep thinking about it and it keeps bringing you down. So you need to actually move away. With the Eight of Cups, it's leaving behind that which you can't change and start moving on from it. So, you know, you need to get out of that phase about being depressed. Focus on your work and it looks like something brand new is coming in. You know, success will be coming in for you. So going into the future, you've got the nine of rods over here. So you're still very, very defensive over there, feeling, uh, you know, as though you're still having to deal with a lot of issues and a lot of problems. So you might be still dealing with those negative energies from a previous relationship, or you're still dealing with people uh, that are causing uh, a lot of problems. Because you are fighting a lot of problems, um, and you have, you know, you've had to deal with it one at a time. You might be exhausted from dealing with all these problems, and maybe this is why you're feeling a bit down. So that is almost coming to an end because you've got that nine of uh, rods and it's close to the ten, which is the cycle is almost at an o at the end. So it's, this might be the last fight that you have, and you know, just hang in there. Really, that particular card says you just need to hang in there. Now you are waiting for some kind of financial payoff. You've got that seven of pentacles over there. So you know there's money that is going to be coming to you, maybe from a legal settlement, uh, because you've got that knight of rods, or, um, knight of swords over there, talking about some kind of um, legal decision. But this is waiting for it to come in, and it will come in due time. It is there available for you, so you will get some kind of settlement from whatever issues, legal issues you are dealing with, if that's the thing that is worrying you. And it's going to allow you to be in independent and you'll be focused a lot on your work as well. You've got that three of pentacles. So something, some project that you're working with where you're taking on that leadership role, collaborating with a lot of people and bringing in a lot of money as well. That tree is full of coins over there. So whatever job you're working on is going to bring, bring you, you a lot of financial success. Now you've got the six of rods, so you're waiting for victory to come your way and, uh, you know, uh, after going through all these problems. So you are trying to win whatever this battle is and you're hoping for victory to come in over there. You've got that nine of wands, but you've also got that six of wands in your hopes and fears, so you are waiting for victory to come. Now going in into the future, the final outcome, you've got the star card over here, the four of swords and the two of rods. So the, t uh, the star card is about finding new direction in your life and moving on. You can see they're leaving behind the dark and moving towards that light. So there's guidance coming in for you on a divine level, but also finding new direction. Uh, there might be something international that's coming in as far as uh, you know travel goes, but this is also a card of luck and success coming in for you, and you do need to pray for it as well. You've got the Four of Swords over here, a need for you to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a step back, come up with a new plan, a new strategy, think things through. So you might need a little bit of a holiday as well, because you are very stressed out with that Nine of Rods, it's a very stressed out card. I mean, if you have to do a lot of work and carry a lot of responsibilities and burdens, there's a lot of stress that is there. So you do need to take a little bit of a step back and come up with a new plan.
and there's a decision coming up for you, a transformation. You can either stay in this particular situation and be depressed or you can move on and this is the choice that you have to make soon. Um, and there's going to be somebody that gives you good advice as well, somebody that is there to watch your back. So you have some kind of good friend coming in over there or somebody that's coming in that's going to allow you to make a new uh, a decision. You are at that fork in your roads. You need to decide whether you want to carry on with all the drama that's going on over here or move independently. And if you move independently, you know, going off by yourself with your insights is going to generate uh, something brand new, some more stability for you. So um, you've got the star card in a game here. This is from the Animal Tarot. So the star card appearing twice. So it says you are about to take a big leap of faith in your life. And worry will be replaced by optimism um, and fear with hope and joy is coming home to roost. So uh, it looks like, uh, you know, things are going to start moving forward. This is a card of success and it looks like great transformation is about to happen for you. So be fearless. You've got the unity card over here, so embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You may feel called upon to act as a mentor or find a teacher or spend time with others who are also on your sacred path. So this might, you know, you need to go and, you know, meet people who are like-minded and have your goals. You might also be taking on that mentoring role, but also this is about getting some good solid advice from somebody around you that you can rely on and move forward with. You've got the King of Winter over here, so it's a time, this time is very important for you to communicate clearly and be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible. Uh, you need, if you need advice, then seek out the most experienced expert you can find. So you might need some legal advice over here with this King of Winter. Uh, so this is about legal decisions being made, so you're waiting for some kind of legal decision to be made but you will also need to seek some legal advice. So, you know, there is that legal decision. That it looks like there's some kind of payout that you're waiting for. That decision is going to be made. Uh, it looks like it's going to go in your favor because, you know, with that king of winter, it's usually a successful legal outcome from it. And there is that money that is going to be coming for you, and you will be making a decision very soon. You need to re-strategize as well, so come up with a new plan. And be a bit more optimistic with that star card because you are being very negative and this negativity is pulling you down or making you feel very depressed. And that is not a way to start a brand new cycle. Uh, money will come in also as far as the work front goes with that three of pentacles. You can see that tree is full of money there. So don't worry so much about the finances. It will sort itself out. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave us your com comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching.